Since 1976, the Saanich Peninsula Hospital Auxiliary Volunteers have raised more than $2 million to support patient care at that hospital. When COVID-19 hit, though, all fundraising efforts had to stop. August 1st will mark their first fundraiser since mid-March. Veronica Cooper has more. The tables and shelves are beginning to fill, and everything in this space on Beacon Avenue in Sydney will help provide care and comfort for patients at Saanich Peninsula Hospital, thanks to the tireless efforts of the auxiliary volunteers. They are fabulous. I've never met a better group of people because they will do whatever needs doing. We have 104 volunteers. Most of them are active and they are so excited to be helping with this project. The project is a pop-up hospital gift shop. The first fundraiser Saanich Peninsula Hospital Auxiliary have been able to do since the pandemic hit mid-March. Because everything we do is not possible. Our shop is shut. We planned a garage sale in the spring. We planned a bazaar this fall. None of those are happening. We're just overjoyed with something to do, a way that we can make our things happen, and empty our overflowing lockers. The location was found through determination, perseverance, and community support. As things started to open up a little bit, thanks to Bonnie Henry, we decided that there must be a way and we kept looking and thinking. Our volunteers got working with Rod next door from Galleon Books and contacted local merchant here. Peter from Firm Management said, of course, we can provide a venue. Sue Hayes has volunteered with the auxiliary for a few years now. I was forced to retire because I had a stroke. So then the, the hospital was so good to me. I thought I've got to give something back. Earlier this year, Sue was asked to take over management of the gift shop. And so, of course, I took over in February, and then by March it was closed. <laughs> so that was a bit sad. But anyway, this is really exciting. Founded in 1976, the Saanich Peninsula Hospital Auxiliary Volunteers have, since that time, raised more than $2 million. The money that we raise is dedicated to enhance the care and comfort of our patients. We're not looking at the big ticket items so much as the little things that mean a lot. Hover mats to help raising them in bed, special lifts to get them in and out of the tubs. So the creature comforts are the things that we are more dedicated to providing. The pop-up thrift shop opens August 1st for one week. If you can't get to Sydney, you can still contribute. We have a website that now we can accept donations and people have even been donating some of their recent little stipend. They said, you can use it much more than we can. So we've been getting those $300 and $500 amounts donated to us. Learn more at sphaux.com. Vital People, brought to you by the Victoria Foundation. Connecting people who care with causes that matter.